Hello Year 4. Today's video is going to be about place value. Place value helps you work out how much, of a, how much each part of a number is worth. We call the different parts of a whole number digits. So I have got some number cards here. I've got number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, six, seven, eight and nine. The easiest way for me to explain place value is by showing you through examples. I'm going to pick three cards to start off with. I've got five, four and one. At the moment, these are just separate numbers. We've got one, five and four. If I put them in a specific order, if I put one there, five there and four there, this would become one number. It would be 154. Although the digits, so the parts of the number, are just small one, five and four, they aren't one, five and four, when they're in this order. When the one is in the hundreds column, it's worth 100. When the five is in the tens column, it's worth 50. And when the four is in the units column, it's worth four. So that does stay the same. If I move these about, now the four is in the hundreds, the five is in the tens and the one is in the units. Okay. Suddenly, let's get rid of these for a second. The four is not worth four, it's worth 400. The five isn't worth five, it's still worth 50. And the one is no longer worth 100 as it was when it was over there. It's worth one. The worth or the value of the number, or if you want to use a mathematical term, the digit, changes depending on its place. I'll show you one more example. If I change these digits around, suddenly we haven't got five, one, four. We've got... 500, 10, and 4. So we've got 514. If I were to add another column on, I were to put a 7 there, we've now got a 4 digit number because we've got thousands column, hundreds column, a tens column, and a units column. These haven't moved, these digits, so they're still going to be 500, 10 and 4. But now we've got something, number 7, in the thousands column. So this isn't worth 7, it's worth 7,000 because of its place. So wherever a number is placed, that affects its value. I'll show you one more example, including a thousands column. And then I'll direct you to the worksheet. At the moment, we've got 5,174. If you want to, pause the video here and try and work out the place value of each digit. When the 4 is in the units column, it's worth 4. When the 7 is in the tens column, that's 10, 10 times 7, or there are 7 tens. It becomes 70. There are one hundreds, so that's 100, and there are five thousands, so five thousand. So the whole number is 5,174. Thank you so much for listening to this video, Year 4. If you have any questions about the video or about the homework, please get in touch with Mr. Phillips, Miss Claire or Miss Martin on Teams or Class Dojo. Enjoy your home learning and have a lovely day.